they suspended me from school because they were so embarrassed. Like, do you know what that does to a, like, a young girl? When I was around 14, one day I got a message from a guy in my year. He was in this popular group of boys. And I remember being really, like, blown away. First guy that's ever taken an interest in me. After, I think, probably a couple of weeks of, of messaging every day, I remember I was texting in the bath. He asked me to send a picture of myself. I'd never even kissed a boy. I was so innocent, and I thought, is this, is this something that I should do? He kept relentlessly asking me and asking me, please send me that picture, please send me that picture, please send me that picture, Zara. It will really make me like you. And I remember thinking, I imagine, like, you guys become something and, you know, all the bullying will stop. Opened the camera, took the photo, and pressed send. I remember walking into school the next day, feeling like a strange energy. And I was like, something's going on. Kids sniggering in the corner with their phone in their hands, looking at you. I remember being sat in my history class and someone came up to the window and had the picture on their phone and just shoved it up against this glass window. And I was, like, in the class with my teacher. <laughs> no one wanted to speak to me. My teachers just washed their hands of me. Drilling it into me, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that. Constantly blaming me. They suspended me from school because they were so embarrassed of my behaviour that they didn't want me in school. Like, do you know what that does to, a, like, a young girl? This boy got off scot-free. We had a knock at the door, and it was one of Zara's classmates' mums to tell me that I should feel ashamed that I had allowed my daughter to, to take pictures and circulate them or send them to a boy. Because it's quite a small community around here, a lot of people knew about what, what happened. And you, you, we'd look around and think, how many people have seen that image? How many? Um, and yeah, it's very private. It should have been very private. And it's our little girl and those pictures are there. I was cross. I think Karen protected me, actually, even to today. I. I've not seen those images. Imagine all your all your friends know and have seen a picture of your 14-year-old daughter potentially. We've never spoken about it since. Come here. Oi. Obviously we are so close. Mm -hmm. But this thing we've just never spoken about. Mm. And I think maybe the reason for that was just because like I just felt like you were embarrassed of me. No, it's, no I, I think just, it's just so, but it's, I just I think it's a painful thing to yeah, talk about. It was, it, it was, but I just felt like, I felt like I was such an embarrassment and I felt like, I, yeah, I felt like I didn't, want, I didn't ever want to bring up that because I didn't want you to be like ashamed of me and like remember oh, those feelings of shame. We're, we're, just, we're just parents and, yeah, and, and we don't think, have all the answers and, you, you know. So we probably didn't talk about it because well, it, it's, it's like it's picking, it's almost like picking and prodding a wound. I, I didn't know what was going through your mind and I, I, I feel sad that you, you, you know, you, you felt, you felt that we felt ashamed. Oh, don't cry. It wasn't. Oh, don't cry. No one was ever ashamed of you, Zara. No, never. Oh, don't cry. I was never ashamed of you. I just wanted to protect you. And I, and I couldn't at that point. You weren't ashamed, though, darling. 
you know, that's not, it's, it's absolutely not how we feel, is it? No. Absolutely not how we no. feel at all. Upsets me. I think that I shouldn't, don't need to. But you just, you're, you, I can't, I, I'm so proud to have you as my daughter. Oh, thanks, Mama. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you more. Love you more.